What's up, YouTube land? We are outside the toy show before we leave, and this is how big they are this time. But we are about to leave the toy show, but we had a lot of good scores today. Transformer-wise, we made our day. So we got a whole bag of scores to show you, but this is how big it is here in Pennsylvania. Definitely going to be sharing this video with the Goody Wheel Gang. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And yes, this is my epic toy haul from the Toyapalooza Toy Show here in Pennsylvania. I got a lot of epic action figures, including some 1980s action, some old school Transformers like Revenge of the Fallen, Starscream, Prime Starscream, Combiner Wars, Shockwave. Oh, oh man, man, I was stoked to get a lot of these guys today. And some R&D, some Cyberverse I didn't have. An Imperial Rebels Troop Transport, which I got back there loaded with Stormtroopers. Oh, yeah, that'll be an epic review to do. We got a My Hero Academia Ingenium figure. He is missing the back thrusters, but I don't mind. I'll just display them from the back, and you won't notice them as much. We got Doctor Strange. We got April O'Neil. We got Roxy Wolf from... Five Nights of Freddy. I've been wanting that figure for a while. We got some wind-up horror figures. And so many other good figures. And now it's been a minute. We're going to look at everything we got. First is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. It is missing the pieces that would go here. But even in this condition, without the nose cone, it's still somewhat complete vehicle mode. I can review this. So this is going to be going for next month's review for sure. Next on the list, we got Cyberverse Bumblebee. Definitely going to review that next month, of course. One of my favorite characters. And, of course, we got none other than Transformers Prime Megatron, which... Not Megatron, but Starscream. We will review that. It's been a while since I reviewed some Transformers Prime. And of course, another Beast Wars character I was so stoked about finding, and now I got the proper figure. It's Cheetor from the Maximals. And I got Night Prowl and him. Isn't that awesome, right? Combiner Wars Shockwave. I look forward to reviewing him. And my favorite, Transformers Armada Spokescreen, complete without the Minicon, but otherwise complete in robot mode, has all its parts, it's not broken or anything. This is an awesome score, I paid five bucks for that. Cheetor, I paid ten bucks, Combiner War Shockwave, three, and quite a few deals today. We got Doctor Strange, I paid five bucks for him, and I was so stoked to find... The Sorcerer himself, Doctor Strange, to review with my Marvel stuff. He's going to go on the random figure bin as soon as I get the basket for that. Give me a second. I have to do it off camera, but here's the basket we're going to toss the new random stuff into. And Doctor Strange is going in there. Another one of the Avengers. Next, got Ingenium. He's going in the anime pile. Definitely stoked to have Ingenium. Look at that. That's a good-looking figure. I got another My Hero I didn't have. We got another R&D Spy Changer. I think this is supposed to be a version of Prowl. But I love having some Spy Changers in the house. So my second Spy Changer. Paid about five bucks for that. Five bucks for... None other than the last Insecticon and you get to complete the G1 Insecticons. And yes, we got Kickback. So now we got Bombshell and Shrapnel. I look forward to reviewing this here on the channel and showing them next to the other three, the other two I have. This is an awesome score today.
for November 10th's Toy Show. Last but not least, we got C Cyberverse Tank Megatron, the big one. This is a really expensive figure with 20 or 40 bucks. And I got this for only 10 bucks. Oh. oh. Next, we got figure from Robotech. This is one of their robots. I love having my first bit of Robotech. Next, we got some stuff I got from work. This Bend and Flex skeleton. A wind-up skull head. Wind-up vampire teeth. So, that's all the random stuff I got. <laughs> Going in the randoms down here. Next, we got my G.I. Joe Venom vs. Valor. Baroness. So we got the Baroness here with a card. So this is almost like new. I will look forward to reviewing that from G.I. Joe. With none other than another Joe I didn't have. This is a 1980s one I didn't have. This is Metalhead. And yes, I don't have his weapons. He's just having this weird laser rocket pistol thing I just gave him. So he's got a weapon, so he can be reviewed. Love having some Joes. And of course, my favorite find was this Rebel Imperial Troop Transport, which I can now display my troops in. Whenever I need to put them in the battle, I can roll them in the battle, and they don't fall over. And I got a room for a driver right in here. So we got this extra scout trooper driving. So now the Empire is ready to deploy its troops against the Rebellion. Yeah! I'll do that with my Star Wars The Mandalorian figure I got from Ross. Definitely excited about that. And Five Nights of Freddy, Roxy Fox. Look at her. She is an awesome-looking figure. I got this for 20 bucks, and I couldn't believe that they had her. I missed out on getting her for a while, but now I got her. She's going to go on my video game shelf for sure. Definitely a nice figure to review. Next, we got none other than it's April O'Neil from the 2018 Rising into Turtles. And she's got her little dog pet thing that could teleport. I forget what his name is. But yeah, that's cool. And she's got her bat so she can go bat somebody, bat the foot bad guys, or the mutants. Yeah! If you enjoyed this toy haul as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out. YouTube land!